Hey guys, what is going on? Lego Man 123 and welcome back to another video. Today I'll be reviewing the Lego Harry Potter Hogwarts Clock Tower Set 75948. So, starting off with the minifigs, you do have Harry, Ron, and Hermione. And these versions of Harry, Ron, and Hermione in their Yule Ball outfits is actually the same minifigs from the LEGO Harry Potter Advent Calendar from 2020. But it doesn't worry me too much that we're getting the same variants of them in their Yule Ball outfits because I definitely think they are really cool minifigs and definitely do have some really interesting presents. But they could have very easily not included Ron and Hermione, but I'm definitely glad they did because I definitely think they are some really cool minifigs to have with some very unique printing. Then the next minifig is Professor Dumbledore and I think he's such an awesome minifig with some really unique and just some really detailed printing. I especially like the sort of pinkish purple. And what I like about Professor Dumbledore is that with this dress piece, what, what was first introduced in the LEGO Harry Potter CMF Series 1 is that the printing does start on the torso and then continue down onto this really awesome dress piece. Also on the back end, I really love the pattern they have made with that sort of like golden stripe. Then the next minifig is Madame Maxine and I love this minifig, especially with this brick to actually represent her dress because in the movie, she's actually taller than most of the characters, and I really love how they've actually captured that in LEGO with this really unique brick. And yeah. what I love is that they haven't just included printing on the front, but also on the back of the brick, what also does reveal such a really awesome pattern. And I find that really unique for her dress because it's such a simple but a really effective pattern, and it sort of does shine in the light. I really love like the sort of white patches on it on both the back and front and also like the sort of pattern here. Then the next three minifigs are Cedric Diggory, Fleur Delacour, and Victor Crumb. And I definitely think each of them look really unique, especially Victor Crumb. I really like how they've going for like that sort of traditional look where his school is actually based at. I definitely think that is a really cool idea and it is actually really accurate to the film but I definitely think all of them are actually really accurate. And then Cedric Diggory has quite a simple design but I definitely think it looks really cool and I really like how they've captured that in a Lego form. And the final minifig is Fleur Delacour and the most disappointing part about her is that there's no printing on the dress piece both front or back. That is such a letdown because they've included such amazing printing on Dumbledore and Madame Maxine's dress. I just, or dress piece, I just wish they maybe included just some sort of printing on there because I definitely think the colour with the very simple design on her torso looks really cool. I just wish there was some printing on the dress piece. So now moving on to the build for the set, you obviously have the clock tower, but then also you do get three other small builds. So, first I'll start with the three small builds. The first one is a really nice design for a Christmas tree. It is quite simple with the colour scheme, but I really like the inclusion of snow. And then, I also like the overall shape and design for it. Then, the next two builds are actually two small tables with some decorations on it for, like, the Yule. The first one is quite simple with just two cups and then, I believe, some sort of a sculpture. And then the other one, I believe, is a sculpture for Hogwarts made out of ice, which is definitely a really nice design. Also, very simple, but it definitely does have, like, quite an effect to it. I also like the design for the each of the tables with, like, these sort of icicles made out of these, like, sort of unicorn pieces. I definitely think that is really cool and just makes the set look a lot more sort of detailed. So, now moving on to the clock tower build itself. So overall, I definitely think this set looks really awesome. The amount of detail and just the overall design for it definitely looks really awesome. We'll start with the entrance down here and then slowly work our way around. So with the entrance, I really like the design for it. It is simple but really effective. I like how they have included the unicorn horns just to add that sort of sense of realism and just have a bit more detail to that part and then also the railing here which is very similar to the great 
hole and then going up I really like the continuation of the windows I definitely think that looks really awesome and then also like this large window here I also really like the sort of arch design it does have for the engine and then moving on to the clock itself I really like the design of it and I was actually really impressed that the actual design for the clock wasn't a sticker that was like the one thing I was like nervous to actually put on because you need to get it just right so then like the sort of clock hands actually match up so i was really happy that wasn't a stick it's actually a print and i must say it's actually a really awesome print and then there's also another print here on that shield piece of a clock which i think looks quite interesting next to the large one but what i found quite surprising about this set that the actual clock handles are actually tool pieces and i just thought huh tool pieces like, we'll probably just get them in, like, one of the bags and, like, just with two pieces. But you actually get, like, the whole tool bag itself, like, you usually get in, like, LEGO City sets. Like, you get a bunch of tools when you're in the need two, which I thought was quite strange. And I love how the clock actually does work. And there's actually the mechanism at the back. And I definitely think it looks really awesome. So it does work very nicely. I just got to find it. Here it is. I think it works really nice. And you can sort of set it on any sort of time. You want and if you want to move the handles itself with actually not moving the whole part you can actually very easily do that like that and then the roof design is very simple but also really effective i love how they keep using these sort of pieces here to sort of create that sort of tower look because i definitely think it looks really awesome but the roof design is probably one of my favorite parts i really love the angles of the roof and how they've actually done that but this section here just looks really strange i'm not too sure like what those pieces are supposed to make i'm thinking some sort of window but apart from that it just looks out of place but also it does give some sort of like design to it in a way i'm really not too sure just adding a bit more detail to the set and then making our way around this section here i really love the look of it and i really like how there's like three separate sections here i definitely think that is really cool but i love this sort of tower they've actually made here a very small version of it and then i also like how each of them are actually really unique with their color scheme and just the overall design for them then turning this set around you do get a better look of what's actually on the inside So we'll start with the hospital wing and then slowly work our way around. So starting off with the hospital wing, right away you can actually see the mechanism to actually move the clock. And that is this Technic part here. I really like how they've attempted to hide it, but I just wish they maybe did a better job of it. Especially with like this Technic part here. They could have definitely made some sort of bed to actually include that and maybe move these blue parts pieces just a little further this way so then like they can have a bed in here and actually hide the mechanism but apart from that I really like the hospital wing and although the hospital wing is quite compact I really like the features they have included but I think with the new Lego Harry Potter set coming out which primarily focuses on the hospital wing will be a lot more better and I'm interested to see if they will actually have a part at the end where you can actually connect the clock or the hospital wing to this section here and actually take away that part so i'm interested to see if that could possibly be a possibility then the second floor is actually the defense against the dark arts classroom in the goblet of fire very simple design but i really like what they have included and there's definitely a lot of easter eggs what do appear in the goblet of fire and then on the chalkboard here is actually a sticker for when Professor Mad-Eye Moody is teaching the three unforgivable curses. I just wish they maybe had some writing on there what the actual three unfor unforgivable curses are because I definitely think that would be really cool to actually have a sticker of. And then they do include a few other things which I definitely think make this set a lot more better. But I just wish instead of actually getting the print of the Wingardium Leviosa spell for this set i wish we just got a different spell because i definitely think it would be a lot more accurate to these things because they could have done some really interesting spells in that for like this sort of whole setting of the goblet of fire but apart from that i definitely think it's a nice little section especially with the window here i think that is really awesome then moving our way down to the first floor where the actual entrance is they have included a small chest and then also i believe that is the goblet of fire itself a very simple but it's a 
it's an effective design. I wish they maybe gave like an actual piece for the Goblet of Fire because it's such a unique design and I can definitely see it being like an actual piece that Lego could make and I definitely think it'd be a lot more better than just those three simple pieces. Then moving away around to Dumbledore's office, I really like the design for it. Very simple, but it's also really compacted and just really effective. Especially with the four stickers included. Yes, you heard me right, four stickers. There's two at the back to sort of create that archway with the sorting hat and forks. And there's also two stickers to actually make his sort of bookshelf there. And I definitely think, no, actually there's six stickers. I forgot the two on the other side here. So six stickers to actually make up his office, which I definitely wish they didn't because those could have very easily been print, and I definitely think it would have made the set a lot more better, but I definitely think they add so much more to his office, and I definitely think the overall design for it is actually quite simple, but also really effective. I like the sort of desk design here with the, oh, what's that thing called? Well, like, oh, I forgot the name of it, but I really like the design for that with, like, the sort of Gryffindor up here, and, like, the sort of tower design. Then the next section is actually the area where Harry goes to actually find the secrets of the golden egg for the second task and I really like this simple design for it in this compacted area and especially like the technique they've actually used for like the water coming out of the tap and then the sticker here for the mermaid looks really awesome I really like how they've actually turned it into a minifig and I definitely think it's quite cartoonish but also very interesting, I really like how they've actually managed to do that. Then the final section for this part is actually the area for when the Yule Ball takes place. And I must say, considering it's quite a small design with three simple builds to go along with it, I definitely think they've done such a great job to actually create this sort of Christmas design with like all the snow icicles around and this really interesting dance follow it actually has such a unique play feature where you can actually move this section here and actually have minifigs dancing and i think they've hidden it quite well by actually using these blue sort of technic pieces to actually hide it and i definitely think it's such a fun and just such an interesting design i really like this sort of ice part here as well to actually keep it steady because it definitely fits so well with it and then also like the detailing with like the flame at the back but it's just so much fun actually spinning this with minifigs on it. So now we'll take a look at the packaging for this set. So starting off with the menu it does have two advertisements. The first one is for the other Lego Harry Potter sets you can get for this wave and luckily enough I actually almost have all of them apart from Hagrid's heart which hopefully one day I will get and then it does have an advertisement for where, where you can actually display it with the other builds for Hogwarts. Then the box for this set has such an awesome design with like this sort of snowy background with like the moon. I definitely think it looks really awesome and sort of catches that sort of Christmas Christmassy look. And then at the back it does show you some of the inside with like the detailing and then also like how the play features do work. So overall when this set first came out it was definitely really unique to the Great Hall and the Whomping Willow and I definitely think it looks really awesome with the amount of detail and features included and it definitely does stand out especially with the Astronomy Tower and I definitely think this is probably one of the strongest versions of a part of Hogwarts and the detailing included on the different sections or levels is just really awesome. I love how with the size space they've actually been able to include quite a lot of detail and the minifigs although we have already gotten three versions of them which are the exact same I definitely think their inclusion with some awesome minifigs especially Dumbledore and Madame Maxine is really awesome to actually get in this set. So, hope you guys did enjoy this video, and I would definitely love to hear your thoughts and opinions down in the comments below about this set, and as always guys, hope you guys did enjoy this video, and can I see you soon. Goodbye!